Hi guys, I guess you've seen some of those videos showing so-called death loop accidents. Year after year, many people get hurt or even die because of the death loop. Others often blame them for not releasing the kite, though in many cases, death loop victims didn't even have a chance to use their safety system. That's why I think that every independent kite border has to be able to stop uncontrollable kite loop and to flag the kite without using the quick release. As for me, I had my kite locked in the death loop a couple of times and I've never used my quick release system regaining control without it. Here I'm going to explain how you can achieve that. First, let's take a closer look at a couple of examples when your quick release system can be blocked with the death loop initiated. One of the very common ones is that the central depower rope wraps around the bar. Sometimes one of the bar tips also gets blocked with that rope, resulting in uncontrollable kite loop. In this case, activating the quick release system won't help because the safety line is also blocked inside of that knot. Furthermore, activating the quick release can make the whole situation even worse after the bar flies away from you, making it impossible to flag the kite manually or to untangle the ropes. At the same time, the kite remains powered, so the only thing left is to activate your safety leash quick release, in case if you can reach it with your hand, and have some practice of doing that before. Another kind of accident happens when one of the steering lines wraps around the harness hook, exactly like it is shown in that famous video. The kite starts to loop, having its control system fixed tightly to the harness. Using the quick release won't change anything in this situation, since your bar is not able to fly away and to leave the kite hanging on a safety line. If releasing the kite is all that you can offer, then you're in trouble. Alright, so how can you fix that? Since your kite started to loop and you realized that the safety system is blocked somehow, first thing you have to do is forcing the kite to stall. How you can do that? Simply grab the farther steering line and pull it hard. Yes, that's it. Hard to believe that it's so easy. The thing is that when the kite loops, in fact it is very close to become unstable and to stall. By pulling that steering line which is slack at the moment, you will force your kite to stall even if it seemed to be fully powered one second ago. Soon after it will just fall down from the sky. In case if you are trying but still not able to pull the line hard enough, wait until the kite hits the surface and stops for a moment. It will be much easier to stall it when it's stopped. To give you the full picture, I have to say that you can also use another steering line, the one which is already tensioned, to stop the loop. This way seemed to be even more natural for me some years ago. But it's much harder to do. Even if you are strong enough to pull that already tensioned line, the kite will loop even a bit harder at first, before it flags and starts to rotate without power. So, I strongly recommend you using the other slack line. After you've stopped the death loop, what's next? First of all, you have to keep the kite flagged. So, pull the steering line more to get other lines fully loosened and the kite pointing sideways to you. No matter if it's upside down or normal, any kite will lose power in this sideways position. Now you have several options. The easiest way is to untangle your bar from the ropes if it's possible and to relaunch the kite right after. Make sure the lines look ok and the kite is in control again before pulling the line for a relaunch. The kite will be flying normally even with twisted lines. Just be sure to be more careful with controls. Your bar won't spring back easily if you let it go now. After the kite is back in the air, you can untwist your lines. 
untwisting the lines before the relaunch is also an option, but you'll have to think a bit about the direction of rotation your kite had while it was looping to spin the bar correctly. And don't forget to keep your favorite steering line pulled in all the time to keep the kite depowered. In case if you are unsure about your lines or you have some dangerous obstacles in front of you, you can proceed directly to self-rescue. Use that string line you already pulled to flag the kite completely. Wrap it around the bar about 10 times to be sure that the kite is fully depowered. Then proceed with self-rescue as normal. If you are standing on the shallow water area or on the sand, instead of self-rescue procedure, you can just walk towards the kite holding the steering line until you grab the leading edge. Just be sure to stay away from all the other lines to avoid them tangling around your legs, which can be dangerous if your kite relaunches accidentally. Of course, I would not recommend you to practice deathloop scenario on the beach until you have enough experience and full control of your kite. But one thing that is worth trying for sure is to practice the described procedure with your bar. On the beach, at home, anywhere, right now. Wrap the steering line around the harness hook. Now grab your bar, follow it by hand to its farther end, separate the float and the steering line and pull it hard. Remember that you should not wrap the line around your fingers or palm in case if you are planning to use them again in the future. Now repeat it a couple of times with your eyes closed by touch. You may need this skill if your bar goes underwater during possible emergency situations. If you have different bars, spend some time to try them all. Remember, in case if real accident happens, don't think too long. Use this technique if you see that you have to, before your steering lines are too twisted and blocked by lots of kite loops. And one more thing I'd like to say. If you have a chance, Share this knowledge with your friends and any other kiteboarders on the beach. You may save someone's life. Alright guys, that's it for now. Take care, ride hard and safe and see you in the next episodes.